Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to welcome myself back. I've been thrifting heavily, like heavily <laughs> on Instagram. Ever since I learned how to mine or um, wait for drops on Instagram, um, it's just been like a losing battle. I Every time I see a, a new drop, um, unless I'm working or unless I'm like really into something, um, I'm probably gonna stop and check the drops out. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven um, parcels to unwrap. And then I also have a box here, and I have two big J and T Express boxes. My dog is sleeping on my foot, so Mexico, come. So the first boxes I'm going to be opening are from Abaijas Kasuotan. You have to visit the store, even if you're not going to buy anything. It is comedy gold. Every single item has a caption and she posts these things real time, like off the top of her head, and they are hilarious. Even if you don't want to buy something, I think you just laugh so hard that you eventually start mining. So I don't know if that's dangerous territory uh, to go into, but it's really, really worth a try. And I'm just constantly flooding the comment section with um, crying emojis. There are like vintage gems as well as uh, more current pieces, but they are all thrifted. Um, so I'm going to start with this box. I um, opened it a while ago because my shoes were going to be sent to Mr. Quickie. I get new shoes resold um, always as much as possible um, and I knew I had shoes in here so I opened it to get the shoes but um, I realized they didn't really need it so I just put them back in the box but I haven't opened the entire box yet. So these are the shoes. Really nice retro um, like 1960s inspired shoes. I think these are leather. It says um, in new, made in Spain, all leather in a size 38. I am normally a 39 in pumps, but I think I love her stuff so much that I've mined a couple of 38s. So I really try to squeeze my feet into these. Um, they're really cute. I would wear these with dresses, maybe something pink or something white or anything mod. Um, I love the detail on it. It's a really pale pink and uh, white with this cute button detail. And it's a kitten heel, so it should be a little more forgiving to walk in even though uh, I know it's going to be very tight on me. This, what did I get this? I have a lot of this kind of apple green, like retro green, but I love this one especially because it has this white um, border piping. This is not piping. It has white along the collar. This is a vest. I have a little vest collection if anyone wants to see that. It's I don't know how interesting that's going to be, but I love vests. It just makes you more put together. Like if you don't want to wear a blazer, um, a vest is the next best thing. And it's just another fun piece, like an unexpected piece to add if you don't feel hot too much because of course it's an extra layer on your back. Uh, but since I do shoot in colder environments, I have no problems wearing vests, and this is in a great color. I could wear this with plaid pants, like a contrast plaid, or hmm, just I can already imagine a lot of things I can wear with this. Here we have a pair of mosquito pants. Two people tagged me uh, when this was posted. Like honestly, I could just close my eyes and just try not to buy on Instagram, but people keep tagging me and I keep opening things. But anyway, the Moschino pants. It's Moschino Jr. made in Italy. So I think 
um, I can really, really make these pants work. It came in a set um, with this yellow turtleneck. I don't have a yellow turtleneck yet, so I'm really excited about this one. And it has functional zippers. I don't think I'm ever going to use these zippers, but um, it's a pretty cool like accent. And then these I know are pants. So these are royal blue wide leg pants. I wish they fit me. Um, they're way too big for me, I know. So I'm definitely gonna make um, a guy, a taller guy, wear these pants. Like a very retro kind of shoot. Um, I also made these. Even though I already have three pairs of leopard print pants because these are vintage guest pants. Well, from what I could see at least. Hmm. Well, no size, but um, I don't mind if they're big on me. I might also still wear them with a band tee or a vintage tee. This dress uh, is probably similar to this one, but I know this has a sort of a more fitted waist, so I was excited that I got to mine this. Um, this is vintage. It's this cotton collection in a size small. I love my floral dresses, and this happens to be long-sleeved, which I favor more. Very nice and lovely. And then the last thing I got this was late at night and she was still posting. So this is a Fiorucci Italy bag. Um, I might give this to someone as a, as a present. She's very into like the Y2K and Fiorucci seems like a very year 2000s brand. So I might give this to her. Um, but there we have... All the items from Abai Jessica Soatan. Those were the first two boxes. And now let's open this smaller parcel. This is from Glorious Diaz. I can already see. I think I only have two tops in here. I always miss the drops because Glorious Diaz sells on Instagram stories and there's really no schedule. So I'm really thankful for the people who tag me when they see something they think I might like on the stories. It's usually at night. So. I'm a bit more low bat at night, like I am not as aware of things in the evening. I'm a morning person through and through. So evenings I tend to be a bit slower. Um, I'm usually just on my laptop working or looking at pictures. So yeah, I miss I always miss the drops. Now Glorious Diaz is a store I've purchased so many things from, so if I ever get around to making that a video about the stores I've purchased the most things from. Um, Glorious Diaz will be in there for sure. Jody always shares um, his knowledge and it's it's great because sometimes you don't think about like searching or looking or researching about these things and it's just so nice that all scrolling through Instagram and just seeing usual IG stores or pictures of your friends or their work. Uh, I love getting those tidbits of information from him about fashion and culture. Little tiny things, nothing intimidating, but it's always something nice to know. <laughs> and here's the box. Always comes in these really cute boxes that I love recycling. When I send things to him, I put them in these boxes. So I take care of these boxes. Um, it's this Shira. Um, it either has your name on it or it says, welcome home. There we go. Are those shades? Does your voice get high-pitched when you talk to your dogs? Because mine goes this high. Let's show, come on, come on. No. How do you wear these? Mexico is sleeping and let me try again later, but oh, how cute. I didn't even see what was inside the box. 
so here are two true vintage tops. I do have quite a collection of true vintage tops. I mean, I have a lot of retro prints. Uh, yeah, just colorful prints, but if you're looking or if you want to, you know, start collecting um, real vintage or true vintage tops, you can go to Glorious Diaz. It's a great place to start because he has dates um, for most of the items that he sells. So the dresses there um, are going to be labeled 1980s or 1990s, um, 70s, just really all the decades are like accounted for. <laughs> this is so me, so 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 me. Um, just the colors and the pattern and you really can tell by everything. Like all the, all the telltale signs are there that it's a true vintage piece like from the fabric and the tags. If you want to know more about uh, vintage pieces, again, go to Glorious Diaz. He has ukai tips, um, like packaging tips. So just a great, great site to go to. Here is another um, vintage piece. You know if those blue pants from Abijah um, were just a tiny bit smaller, I would have loved to wear those with these because those are like really wide-legged and fl like just really so 70s and this has that nice dagger collar and I have white platforms like I have a new pair of white platform shoes that would look amazing together I might try to get those pants altered just because I really like how they look so let's see about that and then um, I think two of the parcels here are from retro Ret, R -E -T, ret dot ro dot ph. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Retro dot, I just say retro dot ph. And um, true story, the owner of retro ph used to go to our physical garage sales a few years ago. We even have a picture together that she sent to me, so I just found that so fun and interesting to know um, because now I'm buying stuff from her, a lot of fun patterns and prints. It's easy to like spot her package because it's, you can see the prints um, through the through the bags and it's like they're multiple bags. I think these two I got on sale. Um, she had a 50% off sale for all the remaining items. So I got this one. I don't know why no one got this because it's just so bright and it's 100% silk. There are filters on the photograph so you also have to try to imagine what it's gonna look like without the filter but I love the filters it really just gives that retro effect and it also actually helps you imagine what the item would look like if like I mean if I were to shoot it retro or like 60s or 80s style so um, it also helps your imagination uh, pink pants or purple pants because of these little things yeah I'd wear pink pants with these This one, this is a novelty piece, but I, I like fun, colorful pieces. I mean, if the knits are like this, you can't really resist them and you find ways to wear them. I know this is another knit top and one more sale item, I believe. In case I go out of town again, um, to somewhere cold, this would be number one inside my suitcase. Look at all those amazing colors. It's mustard and tan and green and 
purple and red, maroon, the entire 70s rainbow is on here. Of space in my closet so I'm gonna be doing a lot of digging after this video um, because I'm gonna have to match everything I bought with stuff from my closet and now since I don't have many tops left that I want to or that I can let go of um, I've been targeting my pants my bags my shoes I might even sell my like old perfumes, like the ones I don't really use, uh, just so I can match the number that's needed. I'm pretty strict with myself. Uh, I, I really have to be if I want to keep buying from Instagram, so I feel like I'm eventually gonna dig um, into my sunglasses collection or... Um, <laughs> one more knit from Retro PH. So it's pretty similar, it's also a striped knit, but this one is brighter and happier. That one was a more, like a more subdued color, and then this is like the happiest um, color combination. I already saw this before, like a few drops before, um, months ago, I'm pretty sure. She posted this months ago, and um, it, it was in the available section and I couldn't believe it because these colors are really like nothing I have in my closet altogether. And this was half off since it was an older piece and really pleased about uh, my purchases from Retro PH. This is from Shop Me Kate. Uh, here is a floral blouse vintage from Shop Me Kate. Also use this for a shoot, make someone else wear it, or I can also give it as a gift. I love giving, or I love mining things for other people. So I'd say a quarter of the things I mine are things I give to other people. I have two more things. This is another green and blue top. I mined something very similar from Sunday Collective. Mm, yeah, when was that? Last year. Also green and blue and white. And then it's also similar to the one from Glorious Diaz. I should show you that section of my closet. I, I love things like this. And wow. Um, that concludes our my first IG thrift haul unpacking, unwrapping. Um, again, not all of these are for me. Some are going to be gifts, some are for shoots, some I'm just going to keep in storage um, well, for future shoots, I guess. And what else was I going to say? Um, I have I currently have seven Instagram accounts, um, if you're interested in checking those out. Um, my work things are on Shireluna underscore Manila. My everyday Instagram is Shireluna. And then I post regularly um, my outfits and thrift finds on Shireluna.wardrobe. And I also have my closet sale at Shireluna.closetsale. There are just a few items remaining. Um, they thankfully get sold out each time I post, so thank you to everyone who's mined. I really appreciate it. Um, it's so much work. It's so much work. It takes up an entire week, so I have to like really plan out my schedule because I do um, everything myself except the washing. I send them to the um, laundromat, but everything from measuring to taking pictures and to like packing and folding, answering everyone, that's all me, so I'm really grateful. Um, to everyone um, who, who has mind and who takes time out of their day to watch the posts. I post so much. My latest account 
is my dog's account at Ford Mexico and Friends. Mexico is such a friendly dog and has so many friends, so I figured it's about time that Mexico has her own Instagram account. Um, that is it for today. Uh, thank you for staying throughout the entire video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you um, find things um, on Instagram while we can't go out thrifting yet. Um, thanks again. Thank you.